This week has been a big week when it comes to flight sim releases from the Microsoft team themselves and also third party developers. We have that plus all the latest when it comes to sim update 15 and the latest flight sim announcements. So let's jump straight into the video. Kicking off this week's previews and announcements, JustFlight recently released their version 2 of the BAE 146, which introduced some of the new tech that they have been developing for some of their other projects, such as the RJ and the Fokker F70 and 100. This week, the team has been busy updating us on the progress when it comes to the RJ. The project has been in development for some time now, and since the last update about the RJ, the team has been focusing on coding the crucial parts of the aircraft. Significant enhancements have been been made with the RJ systems, particularly in the pressurized and the FADEC system. These systems have been built from the ground up to provide a better fuel economy and increase reliability and improve performance. The Just Flight team is focusing on bringing and integrating the GNLU 910A FMS with the aircraft's autopilot system. This will improve the RJ's navigation capabilities through improved LNAV and VNAV functionality. The RJ will include the new version 2 of the cabin similar to what we have seen with the recent version 2 update of the 146, but it will include adjustments to reflect the evolution from the 146 to the RJ. The team has also been working on updating the liveries for the RJ, and we should expect to see 30 high quality liveries, as well as a new sound set for the RJ. There is no ETA just yet, other than we are expecting the RJ to release sometime this year. Just Flight mentions they plan to showcase the aircraft system sometime soon, and of course, we will will keep following the development of this one. The rise of the next generation of flight simulators, we've seen many new hardware manufacturers come to the market with new flight sim products. This a new manufacturer plans to disrupt the market, bringing unparalleled realism at an affordable price. FlightSim.com has announced their new CLS60, which will be the world's first modular force feedback control loading system designed for flight simulation at an affordable price. The CLS60 will launch at a 799 USD price and it should release around about April to May during their Kickstarter campaign. Constructed from high quality durable metals and designed to closely replicate the ground and a flight force experience when it comes to flying a Cessna 172. The CLS60 includes a maximum force of 60 newtons and a realistic pitch travel of 165 millimeters, but with a 90 degree roll. The yoke has been designed with a modularity in mind and the team plans to release another yoke in the future, which will be the CLS120. This yoke will feature a pitch force of 120 newtons for piling a larger turbo aircraft. The CLS60 will be available to be upgraded to the CLS120 version with ease because it's been designed as we mentioned with modularity mind flightsim.com has also mentioned over on their website they have a flight sim console that will be available soon called the fce 50 and both the yokes will be able to adapt to this console for the moment the cls 60 plans to be compatible with x-plane and a microsoft flight simulator i'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to check out flightsim.com's website for more information if you are frustrated with how long Microsoft Flight Simulator takes to load. Take that frustration out by smashing the subscribe button. It will make you feel better and also it will help the channel grow at the same time. So thank you very much for your support. The Aerosoft team have had a busy couple of weeks with their recent releases of Lukla and Oslo and now the team has announced their next airport which is in their production line which is Frankfurt Airport. Many simmers have been eagerly awaiting for a Frankfurt Airport to be developed for Microsoft Flight Simulator. The team this week shared a three minute trailer video that's been created by the team over Aviation Lads and from what we can see this project is well advanced in its development. The video showcases the airport interior modeling and accurate signage, detailed lighting, ground clutter, weather stations, and also the barn at train station. There is no detail of when we'll see the release of the Frankfurt Airport by Aerosoft, but from the looks of the video teaser, we shouldn't have to wait too long. 
Taxiing over to this week's release news and Hi-Fi Sims announced Active Sky FS for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Hi-Fi mentions that Active Sky FS will focus on a comprehensive weather simulation. It will enable high fidelity weather data planning, briefing, mapping, live weather option, historical weather with a playback custom weather scenarios, API, multiple depiction options, air effects, and much, much more. Many of these features sound great and simmers have been asking for them for some time now. Active Sky FS from Hi-Fi will directly integrate into Microsoft Flight Simulator and the team plans to support into 2024. Active Sky will also have integration into a sim brief, flight plans and integration also into the PMG aircraft such as wind uplink data. Within days of the announcement, the team over Hi-Fi released Active Sky FS and you can pick up your copy of Active Sky FS from third party stores including Just Flight and the Sim Market Store, links in the description below. Thank you to Simbit World of Pilots Life Chapter 2 for sponsoring this video. A Pilot's Life Chapter 2 simulates the career of a commercial airline pilot by generating your schedules, tracking your scores for your flights, and rewarding weekly according to your contract type and much more. Pilot's Life provides a reason to fly in the sim from A to B while improving your skills as an airliner pilot, and depending on how good your scores are, you can progress throughout your airliner career to higher tier airliners and purchase more aircraft license. With over 575 airliners and over 280,000 real up-to-date routes, each flight and contract will have you experience the virtual airliner career globally, living a pilot's life. A pilot's life will work across all types of flight sim platforms, including a Microsoft Flight Simulator, X-Plane, P3D, and even FSX. Links in the description are where you can pick up your copy of Pilot's Life, and we thank them for sponsoring this video. This week, MK Studios released their next airport, which is New York LaGuardia. The airport features two short runways surrounded by water of the East River. LaGuardia services domestic routes only due to the lack of border control at this small airport. The airlines you would see frequently here at the airport is Delta, Southwest, JetBlue, United and Spirit Airlines. Features included with the release is a detailed rendition of the airport, detailed terminal interiors, up-to-date construction on the ground, working VDG systems, handcrafted 3D models and buildings, jetways and various airport facilities, custom up-to-date ground polys with lines and dirt markings, realistic night lighting, custom points of interest, AI compatible and you can pick up your copy of MK Studios New York LaGuardia from the Contrail store or the Sim Market store or the Anybuild store which I'll leave our links in the description below. India Fox Echo releases the Tornado. Following the team's previous release of the F-14 Tomcat, now the team has released the multi-role combat aircraft, the Tornado. The Tornado was a very swept wing design aircraft and its primary users were Germany, Italy, United Kingdom and Saudi Arabia. First flew in 1974 and was produced between 1979 to 1998 with a 990 built over that time and eventually retired in 2019. Features include with the release is a detailed visual model, a multiple liveries, realistic flight model, a detailed system simulations, and true to life normal procedures, sound pack based on real world records, detailed pilot and WSO cockpits. You can pick up your copy of the Tornado from India Fox Echo from the Sim Market Store, links in the description below. The Microsoft team this week released its own local legend aircraft, which is a local legend number 15, and it's the Adorne DO31. This release was developed by any builds for this experimental jet propelled vertical takeoff and landing VTOL cargo aircraft that was designed for military use. Only two of these aircraft were airworthy that actually flew in the world. The DO-31 had a range of about 1,120 miles and flew up to an altitude of 35,000 feet with a top speed of 337 miles. Any builds version of Dorier DO-31 has been based on real world data and comes with a detailed 3D model and cockpit. The texturing has also been recreated to a high level of accuracy and includes the E1 and the E3 experimental versions of the aircraft. A bunch of deliveries such as a marina search, rescue, a green camouflage and also the Xbox Aviator Clubs were included. You can pick up your copy of the Dornier DO31 from any builds directly from the InSim Marketplace store and it's also available for both PC and Xbox. 
Aerosoft this week releases Oslo Airport for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This release was developed by the well-known scenery designer Joe Erlen. The airport is located 19 miles from the city and serves up to 158 international destinations with connections to 26 domestic routes with up to 9 million passengers through its terminals each year. The airport serves as a crucial hub for Scandinavian Airlines and Norwegian Airlines. Features include with this release is detailed models and textures with up-to-date layouts, accurate train and runway profiles, custom vehicle traffic in the apron area, ambient passenger movements inside the terminal, train and road traffic, various sound effects around the airport using wise sound effects and a large amount of ground clutter and service equipment at stands and parking. Accurate taxiway lighting, animated hangar doors. It also includes a GSX profile and you can pick up your copy of Oslo Airport directly from the Aerosoft store. I'll leave a link in the description below. Moving over to this week's sim update news. This week the Microsoft team released its sixth installment of city updates and this release features the southwest Germany region. Seven cities and one airport have been featured with this release and you can pick up the city update six from the InSim marketplace and it is available for everyone as free to download. As well during the week the Microsoft team released a small update which included updates to over 150 airports that have been submitted by the community who are participating in the World Hub closed alpha testing. Along with these airport updates we did see the introduction of a new AIRAC cycle being 2404. Xbox simmers this week who are enrolled with Sim Update 15 public beta tests this week received an Xbox only pre-release test version which is 1.37.13.0. Next week on the 24th of April we still have scheduled the next development live stream. In this live stream we are expected to hear more details about City Update number 7 which is scheduled to release sometime in May and also the local legend is 16. And we may hear some information about some of the default aircraft featured in the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 simulator that is in development. This week on the Marketplace backlog list, we've seen an increase of 24 new products a week on week when it comes to the new product list. Aircraft are down by five, emissions are up by 16 to a whopping 126 pending missions in total. Sceneries are down by four, liveries are up by six, airports are up by five, and others are up by eight. This week on the InSim Marketplace, we saw two new aircraft releases. Both of these are helicopters and are available for both PC and Xbox. The first one is the Miltech Simulations CH47D Chinook and also the Cowan Simulations CS22UT. The rest of the releases were made up of one excursion pack from the SoFly, one commercial a flight pack, one a landmark pack, one a livery bundle, three scenery packs and 12 airports. Thanks very much for watching the video. We also stream on Twitch and YouTube a bunch of times a week. So if you'd like to catch us live and drop in and say hello, the details are in the description below. And thank you very much for your support. And we'll see you on another video sometime soon.